Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is February the 22nd, 2022. Is SoFi finally back? I mean, this stock has been in a very good downtrend since November of last year. Are uh, we finally coming back to where the buyers are approaching the market to where we can get some uplift in the stock's price? Well, I'm going to talk about that today. So welcome to the channel. This is what I do. I do the price predictions. I give you all the price news just by looking at the price bars and the volume without the confusion. So if you guys want to join me, hey, the doors are open. Hit the like button, share the video, subscribe here to the channel because I want to ensure and show you all that you all can actually predict prices on your own. And you don't have to be dependent on me. You don't have to be dependent on these mainstream media pundits. You don't have to be dependent on fundamental analysis, technical indicators, none of that. You just need to look at the chart and believe what you see and try not to manipulate your own narrative on what you think the price should do. Just believe the price bars because it's telling you already what the market is trying to do. All right. So now before I go into what I'm looking forward to into the market in SoFi, let's talk about what happened to the price action against my last price prediction, which was on February the 11th. All right. So let me zoom in. OK, and you guys can see it here. I did the video in SoFi on February the 11th, I was playing some strength into the market. You guys can tell I wasn't massively bullish. I even had an area to where I identified that the market could hold some restriction, meaning that the price may not break above this level, right? Right there, around $13.65, right there. Now, you guys can see we saw plenty of days that SoFi could not do it, right? So what does it mean? Yeah, it means that the market is still holding strong in terms of selling right there around $13.50. That's what it means. So generally, the trend of this market environment in SoFi is still weakness right there. You guys can see here, we got earnings coming up in the next couple of days. I would expect some volatility to occur in the market in SoFi. Would you agree? Now, what we can see is this market in SoFi? One thing you also gonna tell is that the trend in SoFi was broken, right? That's another negative aspect of this chart that many people won't tell tell you about. If the market in SoFi was truly trending bullish and buyers were coming into the market, we would not have seen the market close below this trend. Like, let's we have to believe what we see. I'm not here to give you my hypothesis, my theories my thesis i'm not you have to believe what's going on on the chart though now you can see it the market in sofi was following this trend like let's keep it a buck right here february the 4th the trend maintained its tactness then again here february the 14th february the 15th the trend was intact but then we broke the trend from the 17th to the 18th of february the trend is broken when trend breaks, you have to believe it. The market is not going to break trends and trying to trick you. We broke this trend. So now we got to follow the market. So if anything, what we're looking forward to in SoFi is still weakness or at best consolidation of trading. Meaning, since we broke that trend, we can follow the market to trade sideways at best, right? So first of all, if you guys didn't get the bag, right here around $13 which is around 5% you were to get out now yeah you're down around 8 almost 9% let's take this out though because if we're looking for the price to continue to go down in SoFi uh, we need to be prepared for it so check this out we are here okay we're, we're here into this market in SoFi to where we could start to see the market trade sideways yes we might see that and that's probably the best outlook that we could get in SoFi as of this particular moment. Now, I know a lot of people don't think that SoFi can make all time lows, right? I mean, the all time low came in when it first started trading back in November of 2020. Right. What I'm going to do now. I'm going to lower the, the restriction area that we can see the selling occur into the market in SoFi, okay? Just gonna lower it just a little bit. You know what? I'm just gonna keep it up there. All right, 
So check this out. Let's look at this on a weekly basis into the market in SoFi. And you guys can see here that I'm going to circle it because I want everyone to understand what's really going on into the market. Do you see any strength here into the market in SoFi? No, I don't. I see weakness. The last four weekly price bars signifies weakness. It signifies people selling in the market. Now, one thing I would tell you that would tell me that the market is buying is for us to hold price above $10.50. And then secondly, even amongst all of this weakness that we're seeing over the last four weeks, if the market doesn't break $10.50 to the downside, that tells me that the market is buying. That's exactly what it resembles. Okay. So as of right now, the market environment is weakness, but we might be entering a space to where the market is buying this weakness. Whoever is selling, there's another person on the opposite end of the trade willing to buy it. This is what we could. This is what we're seeing possibly right now to the market in SoFi. But one thing we know of a certainty is that, yes, this market is weak. I mean, back in November, we saw the price trade around twenty four dollars and fifty cents. And here we are today at eleven dollars. That's 55 percent right there. Now, seeing what we have saw, I mean, seeing what we've seen last week, right? It tells me that this price is still weak overall. OK, now. This is it on a three day. What do you think? Five day. I'm here to tell you right here, right now. This is the five day time frame in SoFi. And this is still weakness. Like this stock is massively weak. Looking at that. Look at that. That's massively weak. It's, we got seven hours and 40 minutes left. If the price closes on the low end of this bar, I wouldn't be surprised to see the market in SoFi come all the way back down and test this low that came in on November 30th, 2020. Yeah, I'm just saying. So let me show you what we got. All right. Because I'm not going to waste your time. This stock here is still reflecting weakness. Okay. And ultimately, we're going to bring it all the way back down here towards that $11 mark, all time lows. But seeing how the price could not even break above $13.50, we're still trending a lot lower to the downside, right? That's going to be our expectation. Now, the areas for us to try to grab some profitability. It's going to be first around ten dollars and fifty cents. OK, that's the first area, ten dollars and fifty cents, which is seven point four five percent profitability. Second price target is going to be around ten dollars, which is around 13 percent. And then anywhere below that. Will be profitability as well, maybe around nine. So now let me take this back over to the daily so we can continue to view the market here and I think you guys can understand what we're looking forward to and so far going into the month of March so let me clean this up okay so first area ten dollars and fifty cents second area back down towards ten dollars third maybe around nine dollars who knows okay so yeah we're still seeing the weakness here in the chart in so far uh, let me zoom in so you all can see what I'm expecting. And now I want you all to tell me what is your expectations. Let me know. Draw me a comment real quick and tell me what do you think the market in SoFi is going to do. All right. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.